James here from AR Equipment. With 500 attachments in stock and a fully equipped workshop, we've got what you need to keep you going. This is our new slasher model. These come in a five foot four inch and a six foot for high flow. The design of these has come from 10 years of experience using them and also six months of development, choosing the best parts and configurations hydraulically for these. The heart of the new slashes is the bent piston motor. We've chosen these motors because of the torque capability. They produce a far greater amount of torque over a standard gear type motor. It's around 30 to 40% depending on flow and pressure from your machine. That gives you, translates to a lot better efficiency in the paddock. Because they're not like a tractor slasher, you don't get, you get the horsepower losses hydraulically from these. So if you have a six foot slasher, a standard gear motor type on a, on a, on a standard flow Bobcat, you're only producing about 20 horsepower at the tip. That's why they suck. With this, with the bent piston motor, five foot four inch, standard flow, you're still gonna be able to get through six foot grass with great efficiency. And because of the heavy blade assembly under these, you can still hit three inch branches and three inch debris that might be in your paddock and still be able to deal with it well. That's why these work so well. That's why we've chosen the deck size. From there, we have our jockey wheels. Why we have a twin jockey wheel is so that when you hit a rut or a debris in a paddock, or if you hit a change in direction as you go up a hill, and there's a big lump there, it's gonna slide up over it and stop the slasher from digging in on the side skids. The beauty with these ones is you can fold them away. So you can stick them up in a vertical position, they'll pin off here, and then you can do work up close to trees, or up against the side of a bank, or whatever you need to get close to. So it's not gonna impede you in any way, but it gives you the ability to be faster in the paddock. From there we have our tubular side skids. And again, these also help you get up over ridges and, and, and ruts. The ones with a welded flat bar, I've had them before, they dig in, and eventually what happens is, this will dig in, push, push the side of the frame, and you end up bending your frame. Then we move on to our chain hitch. The reason why we have this is so when you go up and down gullies, it doesn't put pressure on the back of the slasher. I've had a fixed position uh, hitch before, and I end up bending the bottom of the frame, because so, I went down a hill and the whole weight of the posi track comes down on the back end of the slasher frame. That's not a good idea. So this takes and alleviates that pressure. A few of the other key little points that we have on the slasher, we have a forklift lifting point just to make it easy when it's not being used to move around the yard without having to hitch it up all the time. We've got drain holes in the areas that would gather moisture to allow that to drain off if you've got to sit it outside. And the final point on the slashes is the uh, blade cover bolt. This just allows you access from the top of the deck rather than having to try and get a blade off when it's been working in the paddock and generally by that stage the threads are buggered and you end up having to oxy cut it off or grind it off which is very painful. This just makes it nice and easy. Unbolt the cover. Take that plate off. You've got access to the nut there with the dugger dugger. You can force that nut off, change your blades out. So much easier. So if you need one, get in touch with one of the team today. Uh, all the specs are on the website. Love to help you out.